me out. Hey, I'm working on it with her, Darcy Dorgan, Mike's sister-in-law. She's a real estate agent. In the meantime, Vanessa seemed to be losing interest in my father's case. I win cases, period. I would like to win this one, but my life certainly doesn't depend on it. Maybe she needs a little pushing along. Elizabeth? Yeah. I'm not pregnant. That's a relief. This wasn't Meredith. She smokes the doobie wah. I don't. You learn to light up, officer, so I can light up. Hey. Meredith's old boyfriend, the sea man, was warning Mike to warn me to stay away from Meredith altogether. As if my partner didn't have enough problems of his own. Craig Newell was still upset at Mike for Brad Ulrich's getting kicked off the force. He didn't cover Mike's back, and Mike almost got shot. Target! Then, just when we thought things couldn't get worse, Brad Ulrich committed suicide. I moved down the bar right here, a shot. Blood all over the bar. The very next day, Mike and I are driving. A bullet comes crashing through the window. Neither of us were hit. That's the good part. The bad part, we don't know why someone fired at us or even who they were firing at. That's twice in two weeks that you've been shot at. What, you think someone was aiming at one of us? Yeah, maybe, yeah. One of us because we're cops or one of us, you and me? I don't know, Mike. You think there's someone out there with a reason to shoot you? Who would shoot at you? That's what I want to know. You could have been killed. Meredith? Yeah? My partner Mike said that someone claiming to be a friend of yours was looking for me yesterday. A friend of mine? Yeah. And his friend said something about you and me enjoying our time together. Mm -hmm. I got a feeling that uh, this friend could be your ex-boyfriend dope dealer. <laughs> the Seaman. Yeah, the Seaman. And what is his real name, anyway? Carlos. Carlos what? Carlos Santiago. And he's not my dope dealer anymore. Remember? I gave up smoking. Yeah, did you also give up your ex-boyfriends? Yes. So do you got anything else that you want to tell me about? There is one thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love you. Don't go. You've got to. No, you don't. I do, ten minutes ago. I don't leave now, I'm gonna miss roll call. So skip work, Colin sick. Have you seen my other shoe? What? Mike, this is the first day I've had off in weeks. I want us to spend it together. Hey, tomorrow's my first day off in weeks, and I'm gonna be spending it at Brad Orrick's funeral. It's tomorrow? Yeah. I'm gonna strangle Zane. How am I supposed to find my shoe in his mess? Your shoe's right here. Oh, great. I can't have it? Tell me one thing. I know they did an investigation. I know they did an autopsy, but... What? The way Ulrich died, they're sure he shot himself. Yes, more than sure. Can I have my shoe? Zane has got to move out. I can't take this much longer. Don't worry. Darcy will find him an apartment. Yeah, I told her if she loves us, she'll find him one fast. Mm, have a no, great no. day off. Maybe tomorrow I can meet you for lunch. You will? Mike, wait. What? Um, uh, what are you going to wear to the funeral tomorrow? Do you, do, you, do you want me to drop your blue suit at the cleaners? I already did. What's wrong? What if Ulrich didn't commit suicide? What if whoever killed him is the same person who tried to kill you? Nobody else killed him. I told you that. No, Mike, what you've told me is that you've been shot at twice. And, and you tell me that you're going to be fine. And you tell me that nothing's going to happen to you. Stop. And... You've got to relax. You're making yourself crazy. Please call him sick. I'll write you a doctor's note, please. I love you. No. My nana's known Meredith since she was little. When you used to babysit her. I told her Meredith was around again and we were dating. She invited us over. Well, you made the woman's weak. Grandmas love this stuff. Yeah, I figured, you know, she didn't meet Beatrice till Beatrice blindsided her, so why not do it right this time? 
Big black day tomorrow. I hate going to funerals. Man, I've never been around a suicide before. Oh, there he is. Hey, Mike, you true uh, your uncle put a lock on the pub? At least for this week. Connie's a mess. He says he can't stand being in there. Can you imagine? One minute you're wiping down the bar, counting your tips, and next minute, bang! Gray matter everywhere. Uh, it's gonna be strange for all of us going back to that place. Ain't no. Club Zebra, respond to a 1031 at 155 Rivington. Burglary in progress. Central, Club Zebra responding. Damn, that thing's loud. What? I said that? Never mind. Clear. Nobody here, Mike. Yeah, there is. Central, this is Paul Zebra. We need a homicide team at 155 Livingston. Security company shows up before homicide? Something backwards in that. No sign of the ME either. Okay. It's all. You think it was loud enough? <laughs> Some good it did him, huh? Could have been ten times louder, it wouldn't have made a damn difference. Am I done? Thank you, sir. <laughs> Meet with Darcy tomorrow. Did she find your uniform? Nah, we're gonna go look at it for you. You wanna come see him with us? Nah, Elizabeth's been after me about us not spending time together. She can get away, I'm gonna meet her for lunch. How is it our days off always get so filled up? I got a bunch of stuff I wanna do for my dad's case. I gotta go real estate shopping with Darcy. We gotta go to the Ulrich funeral. Mike, it's a car. Okay. The car backfired. Okay. okay. God damn are you, Jumpy. Our guy's dead inside. That couldn't have been our shooter? Yeah, sure, if he was a Honda. Remember what you always say to me? Stay calm, keep centered, right? Right, I know. Who's on the side? We change, we sign out, you and me were home free. 36 hours off and I need every one of them. What else you got planned except for lunch with Elizabeth? I thought I'd go see Connie. Wait, did we? No weapons? Drugs. I should be back in an hour. Can you fax this to Kingsley's office? Get him to sign it, please. Yes, Miss Sharp. <clears throat> Vanessa. Zane, have Hi. you met Barbara? Uh, of course. Hey, Barbara. Hello. Barbara schedules my appointments. If you want to see me, she's the woman to talk to. I know, but the thing is, is I really don't need an appointment. All I need is five minutes. You can have two. I'm meeting a client for dinner. I was thinking it's time we talked to Detective Holtzmeyer. I mean, he, he was the primary on the case. He lives in Boreham Hill. I thought we could stop by there tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, it's my day off. I also thought that we could talk to that woman who worked with my mom over at Macy's. What, what was her name? Uh, Virginia Kaufman? We may have the day off Zane, but I definitely don't. Besides, I'm not so sure Detective Holtzmeyer's the smartest next step. Well, if he isn't, what is? Make an appointment. We'll sit down and discuss it. Appointment for when? Barbara, can you see if you can uh, slide Mr. Marinelli in sometime tomorrow? I'll see you then, Zing. Don't forget the facts, Kingsley. Is she always this busy? How's here at the office between 1 and 1.20? 1 and 1.20. If you can't make it, she can see you next Tuesday. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. Is Meredith already here? Oh, oh yes. She's already at the table. She is. We're just about to start. What do we have in stuffed peppers? Of course. And roast chicken. And a very special surprise gift. Uh -huh. Hello, Zane. Hello, Zane. That's supposed to be basil, believe it or not. 
The guys at work miss you, Connie. Nothing grows back here. Too many weeds. When do you plan to reopen the pub? You still aiming for Monday? No. You holding off for the weekend? No. So the week after that? Or around when were you thinking? I don't know. Never. Come on. I shut the place down for good if I could afford it. That's a lot of thirsty cops. You'd be leaving high and dry. There's plenty of pubs in New York. You boys ought to find a haunt you can call your own anyway. I can't go in the place myself. Why should I expect you to? Because. Dorgan's is ours. I keep having this dream. The bar is packed full. Ass on every stool and everyone in uniform. And I'm rushing like crazy to keep the glasses full. I can turn around, reach for a bottle, and bam, 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 down the bar, one by one, my customers start blowing up. Huh? No guns. Going down like ducks in a shooting gallery. You gotta be patient, Connie. The dreams will stop. Well, hey. I mean, I've seen a lot of messed up things go down there. I was a firefighter. Two guys burned up right in front of me. But I never seen anything like Ulrich. Nothing like that. Never. Bye, Zane. Bye, Zane. Bye, Beatrice. Bye, Meredith. Well, that was reasonably tame. I was hoping for more fireworks. What happened, Nana? Do you just show up here? No. I invited her. You invited her? Two weeks ago I met her. She told me she was pregnant. Then you tell me she's not. And then before I can blink, you're going with Meredith. Why can't you find a more <laughs> appropriate girl? I thought I had. With Meredith? Why? That child's been trouble ever since she hit nursery school. Well, she's grown up since then, Nana. She's 21 years old now. And a tart. A tart. I can tell. So what? You want me and Beatrice to get back together? No. I would like both of them gone. Since when did my love life become your personal project? I don't need your help, Nana. I could take care of myself. I don't think you can. Okay, you know what? Thanks for the peppers. There's too much Marinelli in you. What? Year after year, I've been hoping that you would find, well, a normal relationship. Okay, yeah, so I, I haven't met the right girl yet, but what does that have to do with me being a Marinelli? Everything. How could it not? From the day you were born, you watched your father hurt your mother. That isn't true! He put her down. He beat her up. Finally killed her. That scarred you forever. My father never touched my mother. And what do you mean by scar? He didn't do anything, Nana. You got a real problem with women. And I know that you're the only one that can solve them. Hey, Mr. Mike. Hello. Uh, you scared me there. Hey, I'm here. Hey. Uncle Connie got you doing the dirty work. Sorry about your friend. Lady, sorry. Yeah. You were here? For, for suicide? Oh, see, si, uh, 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 yeah. So you, you didn't see him do it then? Si. You did see him? He, uh, he muy tranquilo. He, he was drunk. Did he drink a lot? Yo no sé. He called me that night, but I screened him on the machine. I didn't call him back. I, I mean, I had no idea he was going to. That was the second, maybe third time he called me in three years. And we were, we were work friends. It was all. What was he going to say to me when he was that low? To me. 
Whatever. You want a drink? No. Okay. Kilimanjaro. You think you have it bad? Try taking these steps with a killer big toe. Yeah, what happened to your toe? I had a terrible infection. I just got the thing lanced last week. Oh, ouch. Yes. Okay, one more flight. Oh, my God. Oh. Second Avenue can be a noise factory if that's an issue. Uh, no. Make more noise than anything on the street. And personally, I think the car horn is the most misappropriated invention ever. It's used out of necessity probably one time in a hundred. Yeah, you don't think we should have car horns? No, you know, if technology wants to do something really worthwhile, try making cars that honk only when danger is imminent. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's not bad, but uh, it just isn't. Uh, it just doesn't feel right. Yeah. Well, you know, climbing Kilimanjaro twice a day, you gotta, you gotta love what's at the summit. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, go, go with your instincts, Saint. If you're not in a hurry, I'm not in a hurry. Uh, yeah. You tell that to your brother-in-law. If I stay at Mike's place any longer, he and Elizabeth are gonna uh, barricade the door at the couch I sleep on. So, what time is the funeral? I'm meeting Zane at the apartment at 3. He's going to drive us to Jersey. Well, I've got to be back in the ER at 12.45, so that gives us, ooh, about seven minutes. Hey, you take what you can get. Mm -hmm. Hey, drop by the pub earlier. Point's oh, still a mess. There's blood on the bar. Maybe you should have stayed away. Uh, the thing I don't understand is something like that. Well, why not keep it private inside your own home? I mean, why does he do this inside my uncle's bar? Hey! Hey! Okay, let me handle this lady. I need to pee. One second. All right. Open the door. I saw him go in there. Hello? Come on, you can't be in there, sir. Be right back. No, come on, Mike, you're off duty. I'm a cop. What's the problem? There's a boy in the girls' room. You don't have a key? <laughs> Lost the extra one. All right. NYPD, sir, come out of the bathroom. I'm coming, I'm coming. Take it easy. Alright. What's the big rush? Can't a guy take a crap? Not in the ladies' room, you can't. Well, I had to go. The men's song was locked. Uh-huh. Who's the girl? What? There was a girl behind the door. Oh, you mean in there? Um, that's my girlfriend, Nicole. I see. What's your name? Danny. So, Danny, what exactly were you two doing in there? Nicole needed my help. Uh, she was getting real sick. Should I call an ambulance? No, uh, that's okay. She's doing better. You're sure? Yeah, my fiance is a doctor. Maybe she should examine her. Mike, I gotta go. I'm late. Right, I'll see you at home later. All right. I should take you in for trespass. Either that or lewd behavior. Oh, you're gonna arrest me? Not this time, I won't. But do me a favor, Danny. The next time your girlfriend's feeling sick, take her home to bed. I'll wet my pants right here. Right. Come on out, Nicole. Here we go. 20 minutes and counting. Should we synchronize our watches? That's productive, Zane. Why don't you waste the time we have griping? Uh, I went to see Virginia Kaufman this morning. What? And then I spoke with Stephen Holtzmeyer. You went without me? What? I figured you were busy. I could handle a few interviews on my own. Is, is that a problem? I mean, should I have waited? Well, that depends, doesn't it? If you broke open the case, I'd have trouble being angry. What did Kaufman have to say? Uh, Kaufman was not working the night that my mother was murdered. But she said my mom could have called Lottie. Now, Lottie worked in fine jewelry. I guess they were friendly. Lottie's last name is what? Kaufman didn't remember. And she wasn't on a list. Well, that gets us far. Uh, how about Holtzmeyer? Does he know if he spoke to her? Holtzmeyer doesn't know anything. His memory's shot. <laughs> Same. Look, I know you are impatient to move the case forward, but you're not. <laughs> I will try to clear some time next week, but let's use it well. We, we, we need to stay focused, dig out some new evidence. Sounds good to me. I want to talk to your grandmother. 
What? What, what, what? what for? Francis was closer to your mother than anybody. She could have crucial information. She certainly can tell us more than Virginia Kaufman can. I said I don't want to bring my grandmother into this. She doesn't approve of me reopening this case. She's convinced my father is guilty. Or maybe she's afraid that you'll find out he isn't. Well, now, what is that supposed to mean? The door was double locked. She was one of three people with a key. What, are you saying that my grandmother is a suspect now? I'm saying that any lawyer on the case ought to sit down and talk to her. It'd be unprofessional not to. She is my mother's mother, Vanessa. She wouldn't touch a hair on her head. Well, then what could be the harm in my asking her a few questions? Hey, look at that. We only use four minutes of our time. I'm going to tell my pal Barbara to send in your next client. Miss Sharp, Kingsley is on line one. You see, you don't love us. I'll find Zane an apartment, Mike. Well, in the meantime, maybe he should live with you and Steve. That should speed up the process. Yeah, the market's tough right now. Zane has next to no money. He must have more to show him, though. I mean, there have to be other places he can afford. In Manhattan, not many. That's why I came by. Remember we ate at that uh, Brazilian place on Suffolk? Is this the building you showed us? The one Zane grew up in? Yeah, the one his mother was killed in. They used to live on the fourth floor. In the, in the front, on the left. Just got listed an hour ago. The right size, the right price. Jeez. Yeah, I know, it's creepy. Yeah. I, can't, I can't take him there, can I? No. <laughs> That's what I figured. I just thought I'd make sure. You and Elizabeth want Zane out so badly. No, not that badly. We don't. Thanks for checking with me, Darcy. Okay. Guess I'll keep searching. O oh God of spirit and of all flesh, who has conquered death and destroyed Satan, and granted life to the world. Do thou, O Lord, rest the soul of thy departed servant, Brad Ulrich. Amen. In celebration of Brad's life, his partner and friend, Greg Newell, would now like to say a few words. its directions. <laughs> I'm no good at speeches, so I wrote a letter to Mr. and Mrs. Ulrich because of the suffering that they're going through. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Ulrich, I got to tell you, first of all, that Brad was a good cop. A great cop who took a lot of heat lately for drawing a short straw in a few different incidents. If he had a fault in work, he was too anxious to get a dangerous situation under control. Not something to blame, really, in the kind of city we live in. If heaven really is a calm and peaceful place, it's sure going to take Brad some getting used to. He's probably already rested a few angels for flying too fast. It wasn't fair to Brad. And it's not fair to you that he was singled out in a system where a lot of guys are guilty. I loved him like a brother. And I miss him a lot. Let us make our prayers in silence for a moment. In blessed repose, grant eternal rest, O Lord, and render eternal his memory.
Where's Noon? Who knows? Last I saw, he was on his, oh, seven, eight stolen. You can't blame the guy for getting drunk. Was I? Maybe, maybe we should go find him, make sure he's all right. You go ahead. I gotta take a leave. Hey, let's go get some more egg rolls first. You want something? No. You gotta pop. You my mother? You work with Brad. Zane Marinello. I'm very sorry about your son, Mr. Malik. Thank you. A lot of your guys showed up today. Is there anybody left out in the street? I tell you, I think it's a goddamn shame that my son was not allowed to be buried in his uniform. I agree with you, sir. And I gotta tell you, you guys put up with a lot with all the garbage they got running around the streets of Manhattan these days. Hey. I had to get out of there. There's too many people. You said some good stuff earlier at the funeral. Good? What do I know about good today? There should have been a P.S. on that letter. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Ulrich, by the way, uh, I'm the one that put the chokehold on Jamal Jones. Brad was covering for me. All the heat he took was my fault. Right? No. What you said was enough. Oh, this crap started with that. I gotta tell him. Oh, yeah. Back off, Mike. You go in there, I gotta go too. What? Don't think I don't know my own piece in this. You? You're too late for the martyr boat. I went to the captain. I played my part. You were being a good cop. Is that what you thought last week? You let me almost take a bullet? I thought we were talking about Brad. Hmm. You didn't kill Brad. Brought it on himself. I could kill him right now, though. For doing what he did. You bastard son of a bitch. Who am I gonna ride now with on the beat? Scoff? Hey. I didn't see anything in the hallway, Mike. I didn't see that guy point a gun at you, I swear to God. Okay. Next time I'll look more close, though. Okay. You know where the can is? Yeah, it's the second door on the left. Come on, Meredith. Open up. <laughs> Come on. I know you're home. I can hear you in there. Come on. Meredith's not here. Beatrice. Meredith went out. Meredith had errands. Sure she did. Meredith, you there? Hello? I told you she wasn't home. Where is she then, huh? What did you do with her? We had a sleepover. A sleepover, right. Too bad you weren't here. Meredith was real upset. She thought dinner went badly, but I made her feel better. You know what? You are my ex-girlfriend, Beatrice. She is my new girlfriend. You're not supposed to make her feel anything, okay? You're not even supposed to like her. I know, but I can't help it. I see what you see in her, Zane. She's so nice and so pretty. Plus, we have a lot in common, me and her. How'd you get in here? Did you break in here? I didn't break in. Meredith invited me. Well, where is she, then? It's too bad she's not here. We could have fun, the three of us together. I want you out of here. Meredith told me to wait. Said she'd be back in an hour. Oh no, you stay away from me. Don't, don't come near me. I'm telling you, don't come near me. Why? I don't think Meredith would mind if we started without her. 
I'm gonna put sugar in there. What's up with your voice? I don't know. I woke up like this this morning. You get a chance to talk to Ulrich Spiler at all last night? Just shook his hand. They look alike, huh? Brad and his old man? Man, they sound alike too. I had a quick conversation with him in five minutes. He slammed every single racial group there is except the Italians. He must have known I was a WAP or he'd have bashed us too. I wouldn't expect any less. It always works that way, doesn't it? Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. I mean. Brad's enlightened view of the world, it couldn't have come out of nowhere. <laughs> My grandmother called Meredith the tart. Tart? Yeah, I don't seem so bad about that. The tart is a pastry. The tarts are tiny little fruit pies. They're soft, moist, and sweet. Meredith is all those things. Zane, to your grandmother's generation, tart means a hoe. Yeah, I know. She says this to Meredith's face? No, no, she says it to me later, along with a bunch of other stuff I don't like hearing. Like what? She thinks I have a problem with women. Jeez, there's a headline for the Post. My grandmother says my dad made me like this. You think that's possible, too? I like father, like son. 12 Zebra, respond to a possible 1054, 642, Forsyth. <laughs> Central, this is 12 Zebra, we're on our way. I'm gonna break up with Meredith. I haven't seen Elaine in over a month. I'm afraid something happened. Does your neighbor live alone? She has a son, Robert. He and his wife care for her. When I asked them how she was, they told me she had the flu. Now there's this strange smell. That's not a very good sign. You think you could check on her? Okay, you let us in? Your mother's been left alone long enough. Station house. My mother's an old woman. Old women get sick. She was tied to the bed, Robert. She was interested in death. Well, you know, we took very you. good care of her. Very good care. Oh, yeah, care. you kept her alive, but only because she died of Social Security check to stop coming, right? Please, we use that money for medication. That's Every great. Time. Tell the Disney Every version day. to the DA. I would. You ready? Damn it. Who used the camera last? Me, why? It's like an ice cube tray, Ryan. You use the last cube, you refill the tray. It's common courtesy. You know, it only takes two facial muscles to smile and like 40-something to frown. So? So smile, Zane. It's good for you. <laughs> hey, Marinelli. Heads up, we got a collar coming in. Been calling your name. Say that again? You got who coming in? Joey, what happened to your head? Which one is Marinelli? Show hey. me Marinelli now! Hey, Zane. It's a guy I talked to on the phone. Yo, where's he hiding? Come out, Marinelli! It's a maniac, Zane. Oh, will you keep quiet? I'm Marinelli. You must be the, the sea man. You gonna play all innocent? I know you have me busted. Do you know each other? Yeah, we're a mutual acquaintance. Put him in a cage. Hey! Come here! You okay? You happy now? Huh? You thinking you and Meredith to live happily ever after? And maybe. Yeah? Come, Zane, come on. We got business to do. Walking away? Huh? You scared me? Pops! The call to Mulberry to back up narcotics. 
When I get there, this sea fella is putting up a fight. Yeah, he helps the doom. I take one to the noggin. Let's go inside. What's your link to this freak, Zane? Why does he keep yelling at you? That's what I want to know. They have a mutual acquaintance, like I just said. Carlos Santiago supplies half the city's dope fiend south of 14th Street. We've been after him the past six months. Finally today, an informer comes to you. Are you going to tell me you had an in all along? I don't have an in. I've seen his ex once or twice. So you had access through her? Which who knew I needed? She says he's a creep. I don't know he's dealing. Yeah, well, you know now. Take a look at these goods. Jeez. That's just the excess. She has a ball full of this hay. All right, hand over the box. I'm taking the evidence downstairs. I, I hope you're telling the truth, Marinelli, because I don't want to find out that you and the Seamaster are more intimate than you say. The first aid kit. Hey, it smells good in here. Did I miss all the action? Thanks, Timmy. Oh, look, it's Damon. It took you so long. Okay. I gave you two warnings. You go and do the dumbest thing possible? It wasn't me who busted him. No. But you made it happen. My idiot sister couldn't keep her damn trap shut. She gave up the seaman. You sent your crew in on him? Narcotics has been trailing Santiago for the last six months. I had nothing to do with it. You know, you forget one thing. I've known you too long. I can tell when you're lying. You think whatever you want. They nabbed the seaman today that had zero to do with me, OK? It was a fluke, a coincidence. Of course, I'm not complaining. Well, not yet, you aren't. How much do you think, Zane, they're going to ask for his bail? A hundred grand? One fifty? Whatever it is, I think Carlos can swing it. He's going to get out of jail, Zane. And when he does, he'll come after both you and my sister. Where's Meredith, anyway? I called her. I've been by the chain around. Where is she? Where is she? I put her on an airplane to an unnamed destination. She's not safe in New York, and neither old friend are you. Is that you, Mommy? Forget Meredith. What are you going to do when Seaman gets out? What else can I do? Keep living my life. What am I supposed to change my name, my address, take on some whole new identity just to hide from this putz? My new address might be nice. Yeah, it all might be nice, actually. Now, when I move out of your place, I'm changing who I am. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. I'm serious this time. I'm gonna pay Damon back. No more problems with women. No more crazy mix-ups with people like Carlos. It's too bad your sister-in-law hasn't got me in a place already. Uh, Dustin mentioned one place. It just got listed. Yeah, it's great. I'll check it out. I'm not sure it's so great. Mike, it isn't that, isn't that single in Chelsea with the, uh, the shower and that kitchen, is it? It's on Suffolk Street, Zane. 226, Suffolk, apartment, 4D. Uh. Were those kids really having sex in the pizza place bathroom? Yeah, I caught a glimpse of the girl, half naked. In the bathroom, that can't be sanitary, can it? I don't know. Hey, Mike. What? How come we never have sex any place interesting? You want to have sex in a pizza joint bathroom? We can have sex in a pizza joint bathroom. Let's go. Yeah, all right. Don't tease me. I am not teasing. Hey, you want to be more upscale? We could go back to La Nona. Uh -huh. I knew this kid in high school. He and his girlfriend bodega in the bathroom on the Staten Island Ferry. Ooh, Staten Island Ferry. And where would you want to go? I don't know. Someplace um, far away. You want to take a vacation? I mean, forget sex in bathrooms. I just want one full day alone with you. Well, there's always a honeymoon. Mike, I don't want to wait that long. I mean, I know a big trip's impossible, but a weekend, something. Pick a spot. We'll go. You're serious? We will? Yeah. I'll take a couple of vacation days. We can borrow Zane's car. Really? Mm -hmm. Really, really? Because I was thinking we could drive to Maine or, or Martha's Vineyard. Or... Martha's Vineyard sounds perfect. It does? Hey, don't you have to take a ferry to get there? Yeah, you have to take a ferry. Does that ferry have bathrooms? I'm pretty sure it has bathrooms. When do we leave?
say? Uh, Hi. The old neighborhood. I, I don't even know what I was thinking mentioning this to Mike. Oh, no, we can't ignore our past. You're doing me a favor. I am? Yeah, yeah. I, I should see it again. I'm okay, really. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. After you. Take your time, Zay. All I'm going to say is the, the landlord's going to install soundproof windows next month, and there is a laundry room in the basement. You want a hug? Uh, no, I'm fine. I gotta go. Okay. You're okay. I miss her. Thank <laughs> you.